Robin, you're a top leader of the American women's movement, the international women's movement. What makes a good leader? And do you think that leaders are made or are they born? Oh, I've gone back and forth on that one a lot. Um, I, I think they're born only to the extent that some people have faster metabolisms and more energy than others, and it requires a fair amount of energy. Uh, um, like not sleeping for seven weeks in a row and never getting to wash your hair. But mostly I think it's learned, and I think what a good leader does is listen. There's a famous story of Gandhi seeing a crowd go by his window and say, saying, oh, I have to leave now, there go my people, and I must go with them before I am their leader. I think in a sense that's very true, and if you sort of try to channel, if you listen, in my case, to women, hundreds of thousands of women in different languages all over the world, um, their stories. It's just a matter of stories and a matter of being open to recognizing that they are us and vice versa, however different they may seem. And so the recognition is magic and that is what gives you the energy to go on and at four o'clock in the morning do the posters that you're going to carry in the demonstration the next day or get arrested or sit through endless meetings. I'd rather be tear gassed than go to meetings, but meetings, <laughs> meetings are part of the pr deal. I think if you're very wicked and you die and you go to hell, you find that it is one long uninterrupted meeting. Yeah. Um, With but no bagels or anything, no bagels, no coffee, no coffee just another <laughs> droning on endless meeting where everybody is saying what everybody already knows, but they're going through the motions like a kabuki dance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so meetings are not my favorite thing. I'd rather go to jail. Um, <laughs> jail is much livelier, and, and you get to meet women, and you, and you get to learn from them. I, I would say that learning is the most important thing um, f for a leader, and listening, um, and asking, and not pretending that you know everything, which, which is a patriarchal style of leadership that sometimes we fall into imitating. Um, there's nothing wrong with saying, I have no idea. Let's find out. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's very endearing. And by the way that you go about finding out, that's how people around you learn. So they imitate. You're modeling f for them different kinds of behavior. And that's, I think, largely what a leader does which means that you better take it seriously and walk the walk because somebody's watching if you're modeling and you owe them the real thing.